Entrepreneurship has a very positive ring no matter where you are in the world today. Um, but access to capital varies greatly depending where you are in the world. So if I go to Indonesia, the concept of an entrepreneur might have a 90% approval rating. And so what, what does it mean? It means an individual. Now, individual could be in government. One of the great entrepreneurs was Lee Kuan Yew but he was in government and built Singapore. And he had a different strategy. He was separating from the UK at the same time the head of Jamaica was separating and he actually flew and they compared notes, what's your strategy? His strategy was to focus on human capital, education, recruit the brightest people from around the world, but to educate his own citizens to that level. Jamaica was focused on tourism and natural resources. And when they were separating 55 or 66, 55 to 60 years ago, uh, they both had the same GDP per capita. Today, Singapore is 10 times Jamaica. So it's not just the entrepreneur that builds a business, but it's also the entrepreneur in government or philanthropy. Are you going to build a philanthropic organization to solve problems? Today's entrepreneur is a little different in that technology has changed so dramatically. Computers are a million times faster. Data storage costs are going to zero. On a strand of DNA, you could store a whole world's knowledge in a shoebox. And, so, and you can reach every person on the planet. So if I have a store, I'm not dependent on who's walking into my store today. And as a result, if I'm in a small country like the UAE, uh, the whole world is my customer digitally. And so those entrepreneurs change things dramatically. The most valuable companies in the world today, none of them are more than 40 years old. And they all are focused on technology.